people say they're the best wings in Chicago. We have level one improviser, Chris Fustin here today, <laughs> almost done with his first level of improv. So today, we're gonna have these amazing wings. Chris so loves them. Brutal. I do love them. We've never had them. So today, two veteran improvisers and one rookie <laughs> to try some wings. Let's do this. This car behind us is really pissing me off. What the f is this? That's celery. It's a bomb, bro. Oh, what do you mean they're pissing you off? They're just sitting because they're sitting there. They're loud. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have what? Spicy barbecue? Spicy barbecue. Is this your favorite oh, flav? Yeah. So yeah. spicy barbecue from Output. This is a Chris Fuston. Sounds wrong. Sounds bad. Uh, yeah, it's made up. I'm calling you Fustin. Dude. <laughs> I've heard it all, dude. I've heard Fustin. Fustin is my scoutmaster. He used to, me and my brother. Fustin. He wasn't dumb. Do some anything. poo shit. He was actually, yeah, that's what we did. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is a Chris Fustin second angle. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Baby dad. Look at all those. You got a bunch of wings there. They're clearly just absolutely smothered. They're really in a delicious, spicy barbecue mm. sauce. And you're seeing them bone in. Bone in. So yeah. you don't have the only to, way the, to do it. The, the, you sound like the internet. Okay? Me? Yeah, this is the only way to do it, bone well, in. You don't bro. do it that way, they're just chicken tenders. Oh my <laughs> god. Dude. You know what, Chris Fuston? Why don't you go live in a YouTube comment section, you yeah. dunce? So many people tell us, you guys are just eating chicken nuggets. <laughs> we go, yeah. Why do but people care so much? <laughs> they do. It's so funny. I'm gonna start commenting on the video. Because they're idiots! Alright, um, and then Corey, this is a uh, so Chris over here told me that he likes the cheese fries, but he also likes the cheesy tots. Okay. I went to the appetizer menu and I kind of went, well, what do I like? Okay. So that's what this is going to be when you open it. Uh, this is, oh, this isn't show. more wings? This is a Corey Wagner second angle on the appetizer. Oh! Ooh, loaded tots. Loaded tots, loaded up. Got some tots with bacon. Throw a little green stuff. Don't know what it is. Maybe it's chives we got today. <laughs> uh, musical theater. When musical you said theater. when you said you like the tots too, I was like, the loaded tots sound fantastic. Yeah, bro. So I figure we do that. They, too. they look like beautiful, beautiful art. So how do you eat wings since they got bone in? How do I eat? You them? just gotta like grab them. <laughs> yeah, you just grab them. With oh your, my with god, your bro. Hand. Oh my lord. All right, ladies and gentlemen, spicy barbecue wings from Output here on Grand Avenue. Over there in Grand Avenue. Whoa! That's a steamer, dude. These are toasty hot. You can just hold that with your bare hands. I'm not a rat coward, so yeah. <laughs> Ow. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Oh my god, they're so good. They're so like big and meaty, too. Mm. I hate when wings are all puny and like. Oh, I got one bite of meat. Mm -hmm. I took a huge bite and I haven't even barely started it. Such good breading. They're, it's really like great, like, it's a bar wing, you know, kind of thing, where it's not like overly fried, but they sauce the crap out. That's really good sauce. Mm -hmm. And they house make all their sauces. I got a steam record too, I'm sorry for calling you a coward. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hot. Uh, so all that crap we were talking at the beginning, you're actually a ex very experienced improviser. You've gone through the Second City Conservatory yeah, he's a well player. before That's we true. did. Yeah. He's a great performer. Yeah. It's time for Interpreting Your Dreams with Keith. I had that dream again where um, <clears throat> I'm my girlfriend's uh, quarterback coach. That's right, okay. And I'm trying to figure out if she's a pocket passer or kind of a a read option. Oh, so she's like Michael Vick. Hmm. Do you have a favorite theater to perform in in the city? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, man. I used to like the playground theater, but they refused to pay Sean and I for our last show. So <laughs> That's right. I hate them now, and anybody who comes to Chicago should make sure they never go to a show at the playground theater. These tats are good. They're really good. Oh, yeah. They really, they really keep their crisp, hmm. even with all the cheese and the toppings, you know? Oh no. No no sogginess on the one side. You grab it over here? Grab I, I, grab like one of these. These are very soggy. Like right. look how that see how it just fell apart. Yeah, yeah. Soggy <laughs> but they're not bad, they're definitely. Oh yeah, it's Sog City. Oh, Good yeah. though. The sog. Oh my god, look at this mother. Oh my Jesus god. Christ. Show the GoPro. Dude, check that out. It's me, Sean Evans. Hi, Sean. I'm the newbie. I'm here to I'm here to, for my first day. Chris, um This is actually gonna be my meal for I know we so. I knew we threw this on our card, but if you wouldn't mind just Venmoing us after the meal is. Yeah, time. dude, no problem. <laughs> no problem. I have a, an account. These are meaty. They're so meaty. Very meaty. One second. I should have never just fisted those wings. You heard it heard it here first, Sixers. <laughs> Fist your wings. Those are so my hands are so He's, sticky. He really regrets fisting those wings. What really is this? 
Is this oh. really just a two, three pieces of celery? Uh -huh. The vegetables. These are also the lamest pieces of celery <laughs> I've ever seen, dude. And they didn't even wash them. There's like dirt there, on one. There's literally dirt on these. I was gonna have a celery. That just really weirds me out. Take the veggie scrubber, the brush, the veggie brush. Oh, they don't have one. I've been in there many uh, times. I'll tell you what though. I don't care for celery because it's just a water stick. It stinks. I think it smells really good. Uh, I do <laughs> like the smell of celery a lot. I thought you were about to trash it. Ugh. It, it, is, uh, I, I wish it tasted. Take a nibble. Dude, celery is so wack. It's water sticks, dude. I got a water bottle. You get I want you, some hydration. I just drink out of that bottle. It has actual negative calories. You know, like your the the movement of your jaw chewing it burns more calories than it is yeah, calories but, to bro, get. I, is that it, nuts? If that's all it is, is movement of jaw. I talk so much that drinking water, I'll lose more weight. Just oh, for sure. It. Just suck on it a little bit. We'll suck on it. Mm. You don't get anything out of it. It's got thick skin. We'll suck on the butt. There we go. <laughs> What is going on right now? Mm. This guy's sucking off some celery. I prefer water. Fist and wings and sucking off celery. <laughs> I hope your wife doesn't see this episode. Fistin, oh, bird, she... and sucking off celery. She doesn't watch our show. <laughs> hey, yeah, you blacked out during the wedding. Cut, to, happened, a, cut to a clip of Chris at Corey's wedding. I miss Tom DeLonge so much. I wish you would stop believing in aliens and come back for the wedding. I Tom DeLonge. I miss Tom DeLonge so much. I do. Out there hunting down back. aliens. So for the food fans on the show, uh, you're from Kansas City. Yes. Kansas City has some of the best barbecue in the world. In the world. It is the best barbecue in. There are the fans on the show that are from Kansas City and are always like, when are you gonna go do it? Is there one spot in Kansas City that you swear by, restaurant wise, that you like, if we could go there all together and do it, where would it be? I mean, these people know barbecue would, and Kansas City stuff very well. It would have to be Joe's KC. Joe's KC? Formerly Oklahoma Joe's. That's like the quintessential, it's in a gas station. Hold okay. On a Oklahoma? Yeah. It's in Kansas City? It's in Kansas City, Kansas. It's in Mission, Kansas. I don't know if it's in Mission. Why are they called Oklahoma Joe? The guy's from Oklahoma. Uh -huh. I don't know if that's true. That's probably not true. I, they changed it to Joe's KC. Interesting. But we could, I would do that, and then I would also do Jack Stack. Jack, Jack Stack. Stack, that's a good name. All right, before we rate those output wings here today with Chris Fuston, uh, let's go ahead and do a shout out. Vlog shout out, vlog shout out, vlog shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a new channel and it's our vlogging channel. If you don't like it, if you don't subscribe to it, then you're not a real friend of mine. And that's really starting to upset me. So yeah. please, I'm begging you, go over there and get me up to a thousand subscribers on our new channel. <laughs> I want 1,000. We're at 820 something. All right, I'll do it when I get home. <laughs> Corey and Shaw on YouTube channel. We started it uh, to show our lives outside of just the food stuff uh, as content creators and comedians and friends in Chicago. So if you want to see stuff outside of just this, we just recently went to uh, an amazing event with Monica. Oh my God. Uh, so got sick. Blind Dragon. This and event is sick. This is insane. This is like, I feel really important being here. <laughs> All right. uh, Cosmo, and also everybody, thanks for the invites, and also thanks for putting my tequila rush in a glass. You got to kind of rub elbows and drink with a bunch of awesome people who are way more successful than we way are. Way more successful. And uh, it felt really nice because I felt like we held our own. And the booze were free. The booze was free. Yeah, which and I was, like that. Yeah, and I was trying to shotgun as much Monaco 69 as I could. Now it's the part of the show where we rate those wings and give a numerical score based on their tastiness. Um, let's go ahead and grab an icon real quick. Mm. Out of five exit signs, how many exit Perfect. signs do you give the spicy barbecue output sports lounge wings here today, Corey Wagner? Dude, I gotta tell you, the second I bit into those, the breading was unbelievable. It was really, really good breading. Those were huge chicken wings. Yeah. Uh, who's, either you said it or you said it like, that you like how meaty they were. A lot of times yeah. you get those like, like tiny ones. Those sometimes. might be the biggest ones I've seen in the city. Those were massive. Size dude. wise? A ton of meat, which like I really, really, fest. they were huge, dude. They were kind of the size of a baby's fest. Yeah. And um, so a ton of meat, the breading was super, super good, which those are two of the most important things to me when I'm getting chicken wings. Yeah. And the sauce was tasty and delicious. Um, all that being said, I will say that I have had one place that was better. That's my second favorite wing spot. You gotta like crisp better too. Oh, uh, crisp is Asian cuisine kind it's of. It's different. Yeah. I don't consider it the, the standard chicken. That's a good meal. point. So only because I've had one place better, I'm not gonna get a full five. But those were fantastic, absolutely incredible. If you're in this side of town, I would be going there all the time. I'm giving that as close as I can get without touching the perfection. That's a 4.9, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent, Excellent. 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 Do I go next? 
Uh, or just because you. you go, because he, now, the, now, the now guess he's would got get idea, it. I think, yeah, yeah. And plus, I'm kind of like hosty of this anyway, so I like to go last anyway. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. All right, that's a great you score. You guys are co hosts. I mean, like, Thank you. I, I, appreciate that, I asked the scores, is what I mean. <laughs> Fuck, get out of here, bro. Sean's Fuck, always trying to build his resume. resume. Yeah, yeah. It sounded big, like you were using this that is, as a sound. This is a. <laughs> Chris, oh. Chris, Fuston, your score here today at Outhouse. Outhouse. Damn it. Chris, I'm not a host. Do you, you guys got my. Do you mind saying this back where? <laughs> Chris, your score here today at Output. Uh. Speaking from the perspective of a level one improviser. Right. Who has <laughs> had these are. wings like 50 times. Oh, yeah. I'm always gonna give him five exit signs every day. Yeah! yeah I figured. Swings I've ever had in Chicago. That's awesome. The recommendations that you guys gave, it's very obvious why you wanted us to go here. It's obvious why Chris suggested this place. I mean, they're like the biggest wings I've ever seen. The flavor, it's packed full of it. I don't traditionally get spicy barbecue. Me neither. I get more, I'm very much more like hot sauce based when I yeah. eat wings, but that's just a personal thing. That was great. I, my main thing with this place is I can't wait to go and try like five different flavors. Right. That's what I love about like Bird's Nest and about Crisp and going to B-dubs even is like, I like to get a lot of different flavors and try a bunch of stuff. We do that for our wing stop videos on Mondays. We have a lot of different sauces. So I'd almost like to try a bunch more, but from those I had today, I'm going 4.75. Wow, that's excellent. I'm very, right? very impressed with this. That's wings. easily one of the best places in Chicago. Oh, it's not even, it's, That's yeah. not even close. If you're that, looking like, for a top three in the city, that's always going to Undoubtedly, be. the second I bit into it, dude, yeah. that, so that cool. place, Bird's Nest, and then 50-50, yeah, 50 50 is great too. Those are like the three yeah. spots that I've had. I've had wings at a lot of different places in the city. Yeah. But those are the three that stand out to me as like, those are the uh, on the Mount Rushmore of Chicago wings. Those are definitely three that are on there. I 100% agree. Dude, good place. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Chris, in like uh, in like a year or two, when you when they find you get graduated enough to be able to perform a show, we'd love to come see it. Yeah, I think you say something else. Dude, I've when seen- When they find your body. I'm like, what? <laughs> the funny thing is, I've actually seen him pl like perform at the, uh, um, what's that big festival at 773? Like sketch Fest? Oh, Sketch, uh, yeah, Sketch Fest. Sketch Fest, like the biggest Sketch Festival in the world. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I've seen him perform, just yeah. so, because the audience who doesn't know who he is, who just has been hearing us we're all too close of friends where like Spit a lot of times like, We've just been spitting on you for 45 minutes. If we it's just have up. like this dude is very funny. a performer on and we don't have like a friendship too, where it's easier to ask people and like about their stuff. Yeah. We hang out, so it's like yeah, I know true. you're good. Right. And yeah, I did a sh <laughs> job of telling you guys that, but like, <laughs> what do I care? I'm obviously not a good enough host. That's true. And I'm just one person <laughs> on this show. You yeah. know? That's true. Uh, all Chris's links are below. Clear eyes, full hearts. Thorsten! <laughs> you know what it is?